All right, now things are really getting juicy. Now we're talking about area of trapezoids. Remember what a trapezoid is by definition. A trapezoid only has to have two parallel sides that are opposite from each other. So for instance, in this case, these would be your parallel sides. Okay, happen to be top and bottom here as well. But remember, trapezoids look a lot of different ways. A trapezoid could be sitting like this, so that your parallel sides are right and left. It can be spun. As long as it has opposite sides, one set of opposite sides that are parallel, it's a trapezoid. So the form of refining area of a trapezoid, area equals base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2, which means you could also see it as 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times height. It's the same thing, it's just whichever one makes more sense to you when you're doing it. For me, that would be this one. So your two bases, if you think about just a base being on bottom, it doesn't make sense. But the definition of these bases are ones that are the parallel sides. So in this case, base 1 is going to be the 3 or the 8, it does not matter which one. The height always goes straight up and down. The height also always tells you the distance between the two bases. So if this was turned on its side, these are your parallel sides, they're your bases. How far apart are the bases? That's going to be your height. So my height is going to be 4, and I'm going to divide by 2. So 3 plus 8 is 11 times 4. So that will be 44 divided by 2. So area equals 22 centimeters squared. Just like before, I could have also taken half of one of the numbers, which I strongly suggest you do if the numbers get to be too big. I could have said 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 4 twice, 11 times 2 is 22. Again, that helps when you get big numbers like 18 times 17 or something. You could divide the 18 by 2 and keep it down smaller, it being a 9. So, let's do another one. If our trapezoid looked like this, we would still write base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. So the area is base 1, 2, plus base 2 is 8, because these are my two parallel sides. How far is it from 2 to 8? It's 4 feet. That means the 4 has to be my height, and I'm dividing by 2. So the area is 4 plus 8 is 10, times 4 divided by 2. So I could say 2 goes in here once, 2 goes in there 5 times, and 5 times 4 is 20. So 20 feet squared. Okay, so our last example, let's suppose that we know the area is 9 inches squared. I'm still going to start with my formula. A equals base 1 plus base 2 times height divided by 2. The only difference is now I have the A. So I'm going to plug in 9 equals the bases or the two parallel sides. These two aren't parallel. These are. So my bases are 4 and 2. And it's my height that I don't know. So I'm going to keep the H. But this does get divided by 2. I now take 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3H. H isn't by itself yet, so I divide both sides by 3, and H does equal 3. So when working backwards, you're still going to plug in what you know, and then of course you're going to end up having to divide at the end to get the variable by itself.